that was the Dakes with their debut hit, All Know. You can catch them l -l 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 live at the Beach of Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout. I'll be there all weekend long with our coverage of the festivities. What about you, Brett? Are you asking me if I'm gonna miss the Beach of Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout? Not on your life, Bucko. You can bet I'll be there. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to WWKCR 92.3. The one and only midnight show in the eternal void between physical dimensions. We're going to be with you all night long, so get comfortable. Hey, but not too comfortable. Now, if you're a new listener, or you've been trapped here so long you've succumbed to madness, here's the shakedown. One lucky caller will get the chance to answer our <laughs> terrifying questions. Answer them correctly and win prizes, including tonight's grand prize, VIP Weekend Platinum Pass All Access Batch Stage Celebrity Experience Premium Tickets to the Beach of Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout. But if you answer the questions incorrectly, by crossing the false line between the physical universe and the realm of unconscious thought, any and all legal rights to their mimetic consciousness have been waived by the individual. Any premature forfeiture will result in immediate psychic death. Any attempts to exit or stop the vehicle will result in immediate psychic death. Any attempts to call law enforcement or first responders will result in immediate psychic death. WKCR 92.3 waives any all legal liability to injury, distress, death, or idiosyncratic disincorporation experienced by contestants. Grand prize winners will be returned to their original dimension with grand prize material, comprised of two X VIP weekend platinum pass all access backstage celebrity experience premium tickets to the BJ Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout, or equal remuneration of no more than 200 US dollars. All rights reserved WKCR LLC. Let's get our next contestant on the line and kick things off. Hey there, Cola. You're on with Brett. And Kyle. Excited to be here? We're excited to have you. And even more excited to get rid of these VIP tickets to the Beach Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout. All you gotta do is answer a couple easy questions. And this time next week, you'll be sipping cocktails at the WKCR 92.3 VIP Beachside Bar and Grill. And yeah, if you do lose, we will devour your consciousness and use it to expand our own otherworldly existence. But hey, that's the price of doing business. Me personally, I'm rooting for you, kiddo. I'm a little bit different. I don't like to play with my food as much as Kyle does. So I'm going to be trying to kill you the whole time. Like so. Stay on your toes for those cool, uh, sneaky little guy. I'll get ya. But enough chit chat. Let's get to it. First question What is the European name for soccer? That is absolutely correct. We always start these things off easy, so let's see if you can handle the next question. The 20th president of the United States was. That's correct! President Garfield did love lasagna, though. <laughs> did he hate Mondays as well? Uh, no. He actually loved Mondays. He was a little piggy for Mondays. Okay, call the next question. In the year 1875, the capital of... It's Mike! Ooh, nice reflexes, caller. Call her, I'm gonna get you, though. Don't let me catch you. Seriously, caller, do not let him catch you. All right, caller, this next one's a doozy, so hold on to your butt. You know Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, but who was the third crew member on the Apollo 11 mission? That is correct. For everyone listening, our producers have muted Brent's mic until he calms down about the moon landing. He'll run out of steam in a second, so let's move on. And that's round one complete with a perfect score. Whew, this caller wants those tickets real bad. Also, uh, you know, they probably want to live. Tell me about it, Brett. I only feel alive once a year when I'm in the mosh pit at Beach Palooza. I was thinking more in the immediate sense. Well, for that, they still need to survive round two. We've got round two coming up momentarily, but first, the weather. How's it looking out there, Brett? We're in a void of nothingness that's the void of substance, yet infinite in extent. Your surroundings are a product of your subconscious rationalizing the semiotic signals produced by our presence in this dimension. And just what does that mean for the weekend forecast, Brett? Well, we're going to see scattered showers over the next few 
days, but nothing serious. Average 45 degrees, getting warmer towards Sunday. Great to hear. All right, caller. Now it's time for... Round, Round two. two. All you gotta do is answer at least one question right, and you're one step closer to those VIP weekend Platinum Pass all-access backstage celebrity experience premium tickets to the Beachapalooza Spring Break Beach Blowout. And yeah, if you don't, we're gonna harvest you some conscious for nightmares for a process called Avoid Melvin. But hey, try not to think about it. Now, next question. What is the twelfth element on the periodic table? That's correct. Magnesium is an important part of your human diet. Common symptoms of magnesium deficiency include muscle fatigue, muscle spasms, muscle weakness, muscle cramps, muscle numbness, and muscle death. All right, caller, next question. The maximum size of a bow... Kyle, I'm sorry, I gotta interrupt. We have some breaking news coming in. Preliminary reports are coming in that a number of big spikes are ahead of you. Eyewitnesses are reporting a, a, a two or three more. Oh, this just did. I'm being told there's one more. And one more. Last one. That concludes our news reports. Next question. The Battle of Hastings took place on what weekday? Oh, sorry, caller. The answer we were looking for was Saturday. Can you imagine trying to throw a battle on a Wednesday? It's already bad enough, especially with the wife trying to get you out of bed. Is she also a space monster, Brett? Yeah, she's also a space monster. What key is Beethoven's fifth symphony in? That's correct. Hey, Brett, hit us with a C minor. C, this is a C, C minor. Mwah, beautiful. Well, well, well. That's another three questions and another round in the can. But how'd they do, Brett? Two out of three. Not so bad. But is it enough to go to the final round? That is... absolutely correct. Oh, we love to see that type of confidence from our callers. It's delusional, but still, it's nice. It's not over yet, though, Brett. We've got one more round left, and some would say it's the most challenging. The most mind-bending. The most jaw-dropping. The most... <gasps> deadly? That's right. It's the lightning round. We're gonna hit you with a series of rapid-fire questions, so stay on your toes. We might as well call this round the Spikes Round, because oh ho 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 am I about to go off wild with the spikes. Get ready. Here they come. What's the square root of 144? Who was the first pilot to circumnavigate the globe solo? The sixth planet from the sun of your solar system is... So far we've gone easy on you, caller. But if you want those VIP weekend Platinum Pass all-access backstage celebrity experience, premium tickets to the Beach Beachapalooza Spring Break Beach Blowout, you're gonna have to survive the real questions. I've just been handed the real questions by our producer, Paulie. They kept off site in an undisclosed location under constant on guard and a climate controlled, hermetically sealed environment. They're that hard. All of that is still code for space monster stuff, so be like double intimidated. What is the city with the highest elevation on Earth? Name the inventor of the elevator. Which of these is a type of cheese? How many calories are in a gram of mayonnaise? This ethereal dimension is ruled over by what entity? This creature resides 
center of all entropy in the palace of... What is the top speed of a grizzly bear? Is any of this actually happening? Are you sure? The first Major League Baseball World Series was in what year? What is the answer to the first question we asked? And that is it for the lightning round. What a rush. Honestly, Cola, you got real chops for surviving this far. A lot of times there I thought you were a goner. So many close scrapes. They're not out of the woods yet, though. We still gotta tally up that score. Bear with us for a second. Alright, so if we carry the one, and then our take away the two, yeah. a cross divide that will be integer yeah, so bonus. Uh, we take the sum of that and we minus that for the uh, dividend. That should give us Oh, you gotta be Scar, kidding. we are just about ready to part ways with those Beach of Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout tickets. We just have one last question for you. Are you ready for the best weekend of your life? Well, that's great to hear, since you're tonight's grand prize winner! You and a lucky friend are going to the Beach of Palooza Spring Break Beach Blowout! Those VIP tickets grant you all access all weekend long. That's unlimited access to the WKCR 92.3 Bar and Grill Boardwalk. That's front row seats at the Beach of Palooza main stage. And that's unlimited refills on your choice of soda or other caffeinated beverage. Also, if you bring us your ticket, we can validate your parking. No, no, no. We're not letting this one get away. Long. Brett, you know the rules. They won fair and square. They weren't supposed to win. We rigged this whole thing for a reason. <laughs> whoa, 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 Brett. Let's not throw words like rigged around, okay? <laughs> Hold your horses. Everyone at WKCR 92.3 takes the rules very seriously. I don't care about the rules. I don't care about fair. And I'm sick and tired of this radio show bit. Whoa, whoa, Brad. You, you don't like the radio show bit? I, th I thought we were having fun. I've never liked the radio show bit. <laughs> Caller, you enjoy those VIP tickets. Oh, no, you don't. It so belongs to me. Paulie, get in here and give me a hand. I'll give you the part of his brain that feels on weak. I know that Paul's your favorite. Polly signed a contract just like everyone else, Brett. He knows the rules of the Brett and Kyle show. What rules? All of this is just an anthropomorphized solution we created to make it easier to liquefy human brains. All of what it's hearing is just his mind to try to rationalize our health. Whoa, 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 okay. Kyle, put down the mic stand. Do you know how much those things cost? Let's see. 